don't care. You know, they, you know, they, 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 they significant other, and hey, let's just make this sex tape real quick. Let's get it out there. Let's put it on these amateur sites. Yeah. That is a thing that's yeah. happening constantly. And my thing with that is, you think the only people in, you know, the next state will see it, and people who don't know you won't see it, and that's not true. I mean, like Ms. D said, you're going to have somebody who say, wait a minute, you have some people who are porn connoisseurs, like me. Yep. <laughs> and so, I'm going to, you know, oh hey, hey oh I ain't going to lie about it. I might as well get it all out of my system oh before my Jesus come back. I am a porn connoisseur. I am. And I just feel that, you know, hey, I, I, I've known one, two, three people that I've grown up with who've been in porn videos, you know, they'll remain nameless with me, but that don't mean they're going to be nameless with anybody else, but, you know, it's just so you got to be careful what you put out there. Dolphin is probably going to have a, he probably already have a video out there floating around. He just hoping that no one else finds out about it. I ain't got no video out right there floating around, I swear I don't. But Denise, no, I'm joking. Anyway, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what nobody got, I don't know what nobody got. No, it's your boy Dawson from DND TV. I'm here live with Miss D. Miss D done got me. I'm in the grocery store shopping at Whole Foods and stuff. And she done came up with some story that really ain't a big story to me. I'm sure this stuff has been going on for years and years. Miss D probably since before we've been born. Story about a boxer, a former UCF boxer, or about to be a boxer who was caught doing. No, porn. he wasn't. No, no, he was a local boxer in Philly. A local boxer in Philly. Okay. And he was caught doing porn. It got out. And so now there was in the last couple of days, weeks, there's been a lot of, you know, speculation about different things. And he finally came out and said that it was him in the porn and that he was not drugged, that he did it, you know, willingly. So, Ms. D, my thing is, and this is, in fact, I think he did uh, gay porn. Ms. D, my thing is, and the man has 10 kids, you said, Ms. D? Yes, that's what he says. He has 10 kids. 10 kids, whatever. My thing is, like, so is his career over because of this, or what are people saying? No, no, he retired about two, two or three years ago. Okay, he retired, okay. So I guess people were just really upset because he lied about the situation. Yeah, his story didn't add up when it first came out. The issue was not what people were saying in the comments. That nothing to do with the fact. Not once did people say, oh, this is a Gaza High Boxer. What everybody was going off on in the comments was that he lied. Clearly, he was lying. People yeah. read his statement. His statement did not add up. Then people saw the minute and a half clip, and it's clear that he was not drugged. And people was going off like, you are not drugged. You are lying. Why are you lying? Mm -hmm. You are gay or at the minimum, you're bisexual. It yes. wasn't the fact that he was a boxer. It was the fact that he was lying, and it was clear to everybody that he was lying. It was clear to everybody he was lying, especially if you're going to put something like this on video. And I guess because he wanted to uh, join this particular uh, boxing company, that's probably why he lied about it, because a lot of people, and not only when it comes to issues like this, but with everything, you know, with us applying for jobs, you see so many people making these amateur videos on cell phone, allowing people to take, you know, uh, Snapchats of them and recording them and Skype. And then people put that stuff out online. I mean, of course, his was this was a uh, you know something he did with a, uh, a professional, I guess, uh, company. Yeah, you know, company, but yeah. just in general, I mean, you got people who made amateur home videos and their stuff is still blasted all on the internet. And when somebody in your neighborhood can spot you out and say, "Look, you can go see Kiki's video right there, or see uh, Letitia's video right there," people gonna look at it, and then it's gonna circulate in your community. And if you kind of well known, people gonna put it out there. So, you know, it just, yeah. I think that serves as a point for all of us just to watch out what we're doing. But if you knowingly go into a production studio knowing that they're going to distribute that video that you're doing to everybody, then you really can't hide a lie about something like that because porn circulates. And you that's right. You're circulating. And all it takes is one person who knows you to see it and it's going to spread like wildfire. Yeah, one person who knows you to see it and it will spread like wildfire. But my thing is with that, Ms. D, why do people go, if you know that you are a certain way, the real you is eventually going to come out, whether you like it or not. I mean, some some old person you've been with, uh, you yep. know, it's eventually going to come out. And we have seen That's in the right. media these past, 
you know, couple of months about people coming out, you know, with their different stories on their sexuality, people coming out telling their wives that they've been cheating on them or their husbands that they've been cheating. It, I mean, it's both, it goes on both sides. I mean, if you're not happy going into a relationship or a marriage, eventually it's going to come out. Unless y'all, both of y'all just decide to be swingers and then it's, you know, a free fall for everything. It's eventually going to come out. So why go in on a lie? You're going to come out a liar and it's not going to look good. No, it's not going to look good. And you're going to get criticized for telling that lie. You and are. honestly, you know, been lying to people fought for a while, like yeah. I said. Yeah. And my thing is, before he did the video, I don't know why he just didn't come out. I mean, did he think he was going to go through his whole life? And no one was going to see this video. But then they say most of the time you underestimate how many people are watching different type of porn. Yeah. And not only that, I mean, he said that this is part of who he is. So he's been with men before. Yeah. Off screen. So yeah. probably one of his ex-gay boyfriends or somebody the one that started spreading it around the community. I mean, come on now. Yeah. I guess he thought it wasn't going to come out. I don't know what he thought, that he can do this and nobody would ever find out. I would tell anybody who wants to go into the adult film industry, no matter what genre of it you want to go into, to really make up your mind. Because now, like I said, world star hip hop, all these different, we got people just doing stuff just to get their videos out there to be famous. Even if it's, you know, uh, doing sex, you know, whatever, you know, down here on South Beach, they just had something where a girl just script right out there in the middle of Ocean Drive, just letting guys pour ketchup on her and everything. And my thing was stuff oh. like, yeah, I, I saw that video. It's pretty wild. I mean, they, I mean, she was just butt naked out on those people's table while everybody was eating. And of course, you know, people running over there with their cameras. She made world star. So my thing with that uh, is... she on drugs? Well, oh, that's oh. what people were saying, that she was probably mentally ill or maybe she was on drugs. But I'll, I'll, I'll reference that video to you, Miss D, and you can make up your mind to see if she was on drugs or not. To me, it looked like she just okay. wanted to have fun. Like most of the girls and some of the guys down there on South Beach and in these other areas where, you know, people go to party. It looked like they want to have fun. They think, hey, let's just live it up, make this moment last forever. And without realizing that that moment is going to last forever and forever and forever until you're an old person and people can still reference that video. I mean, uh -huh. I mean, we, you just have to be careful when you when you do things like this because uh, if somebody is you know videotaping you secretly and you know putting your stuff out there, that's a whole different story. Versus than having somebody putting a the camera there and you saying you know let's just go ahead and do this and you know whatever happens, let the chips fall where they may. And that's what we're seeing a lot now in 2015. And beyond is that people just don't care, you know. They, you know, they, they dealt with they, 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 they significant other, and hey, let's just make this sex tape real quick. Let's get it out there. Let's put it on these amateur sites. Yeah. That is a thing that's yeah. happening constantly. And my thing with that is, you think that only people in, you know, the next state will see it, and people who don't know you won't see it, and that's not true. I mean, like Miss D said, you gonna have somebody who say, wait a minute, you have some people who are porn connoisseurs. Like me. Yep. <laughs> so I'm going to, you know, oh my hey, hey oh I ain't going to lie about it. I might as well get it all out of my system oh before my Jesus come back. I am a porn connoisseur. I am. And I just feel that, you know, hey, I, I, I've known one, two, three people that I've grown up with who've been in porn videos. You know, they'll remain nameless with me, but that don't mean they're going to be nameless with anybody else. But, you know... It's just so you gotta be careful what you put out there. Dolphin is probably gonna have a he probably already have a video out there floating around. He just hoping that no one else finds out about it. I ain't got no video out right there floating around, I swear I don't. But Denise no, I'm joking. Anyway uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what nobody got. I don't know what nobody got. No, I ain't. and Miss D, one of the things you were talking about is why did he hide that from his fiance or from others? And you also stated that he was—he said that he was a whoremonger and you, he has 10 kids, but you were saying he was being irresponsible, you know. Well, he tried to see initially when it first came out, he denied. Um, he kind of denied it in a sense. Not, he didn't deny it in a sense that it wasn't, wasn't him. He said that he was drugged. That's what he said. He said he was drugged and he didn't remember anything. Yeah. And he basically was denying the fact that he was gay. He was saying, I've been called a whoremonger all my life and I got 10 kids. Like, somehow, 
that's going to make him not bisexual yeah. because he slept with a bunch of different women. Yeah. But, you know, I'm not saying that you got to go out and blast to the world what you're doing because, of course, whatever your sexual preference is, it is your sexual preference, okay? But when you start getting in relationships with other people, whether you are a gay man who still like women, are straight men, or you're pretending to be a straight man, but you like me, or you're bisexual. When you get to getting into other relationships, then it is that person right to know what all you're involved in, because they may not be comfortable with that. Just like his, and now it's Beyonce, she's not comfortable with that. I feel you. I, I totally and agree. And she had the right to know that. She yeah. did. She had the right to know that. Yeah. That, you know, that show, because... I, what I don't want to do is be married to you and years later you're like well you know I'm gay I decided I want to be with a man yeah. now you wasted my time I could have been with somebody else and I wasted time on you yeah yeah I totally agree with you on that I like I said before I think it's totally unfair to uh, your significant other whether male or female if you go into a relationship and we done a video I did a video with my sister on this you know uh, watch why get married and still cheat and I think that is you know along with this subject a lot of people still get into relationships into marriages thinking that this is gonna cure me from cheating this is gonna cure my my uh, sexuality issues and they married a person of the opposite sex or the person of the same sex you know getting with them thinking you know I'm gonna stop cheating but that's innate within you and I think if you're going to cheat, whether it be with the same sex or the opposite sex, you know what you're going to do. Don't mess up nobody else's life. Just be honest with people. When you're a grown person, pay your own bills, do your own things, you don't owe nobody an explanation. Only person you owe an explanation is the one you're sleeping with. And they need to know the truth about you. Everybody else, you don't owe them an explanation. That's right. That's how I feel about the situation. But Ms. D, you said it before. You said if you were in a relationship like that or you had meant you would want to know head on, you know, what's what. You would not want to get years down the line. And it's, you know. Definitely. Exactly. I know. Yeah. I want to know. Yeah, I would need to know your sexual preference. Yeah, Because I agree. I'm not trying to mess around with nobody that's bisexual. That is not my preference and I need to know. And I I'm sorry. You. Like I said, it's not the world's business to know what your preference is, but if you get ready to start a relationship and sleep with somebody, especially if you think of, I'm not even, some people just be sleeping with people. But if you're going to start a relationship, they need to know. I agree. I totally agree. I totally agree. Be true to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. On behalf of me and Ms. D, thank you. Uh, and thank Denise, you. Thank you. Say goodbye to the people, Ms. D. <laughs> Goodbye, people. Goodbye, y'all. Peace.